In this video, we're going to focus on how to create a radar chart with React Chart.js 2. So let's start to explore this. So let's start to create our radar chart. So first thing what we need to do here, we have this default code here, but what we want to do is we want to import a few items. We're going to say import, and then in this import, we're going to say chart as chart.js. That's number one, because we want to have the chart.js components. And the ones we need is the line element. Next is the point element. And then we have here as well the tooltip legend. And finally, we should have the radial linear scale, which is special for the radar chart. All right, so once we have this, we're going to say from string chart.js. Chart.js, like that. All right. Semicolon, then we're going to say import and we're going to import here the radar chart. Say radar chart or radar from react dash chart yes number two. Very straightforward. So then what I want to do is I want to load all these items here or register them. So we're going to say your chart yes, which is basically this here, dot register. Then in here, just copy this all, that's what we need, and paste them in there. All right, there we are. So once I save this, of course, we get an error here because we didn't have everything here, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, well, let's see here, what are we missing? Are we missing something? No, not yet. Oh, and I just noticed I have one tiny error here on the five number two, that is probably here the comma. All right, save this. We have another one, so of course, same structure. All right, we have this now and this works, but of course, what we need to do now is to draw the chart. So what I'm gonna do here is, first of all, I'm gonna say a div and close the div. And then here we're going to say here, radar, because we have the radar component from React Chart.js. Yes. We're gonna do this, all right. Then in here, I want to load the object. So we're going, we're going to say a data, equals data and options equals options. So now, of course, if I save this, it will, it will give an error because we don't have the constants defined. So I'm going to define them. We're going to say constant data equals, and I'm just going to put in the data item. So let's make this very straightforward. We're going to say here uh, labels. This is an array, and it's a string value. We say here Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, that should be more than enough. Then make sure we have a comma here, or else we get an error again. And then we want to say here the data sets, which is an array. And then of course with the curly braces. And then in here we're going to say the label, and the label will be uh, weekdays, comma, data would be the variables. We're going to say three, six, and nine, comma. Then we're going to say a background color. And this can be aqua comma and then we want to have here as well the border color and I'll make this black so if I save this we still get an error because we still need to define the options although the options probably will have nothing or hardly anything I'm going to say yeah, constant options equals and then we're going to put in here um, I guess nothing that should be fine refresh all right there we are let's reduce the size of this because it's far too large so I'm going to say here style equals and then here we're going to put in uh, I guess we can do here double braces curly braces we're going to say here width will be string value of 500 pixels and then we say here also padding will be 20 pixels string variable save refresh there you are we have this what if you want to have an inner color here well, in that case I'm going to put in here the filler I'm going to register a filler plugin or component we have that here registered but then we also have to import them and if we save that refresh there we are now we have a nice filler in our radar chart 